Hey guys, Suraj here from the Milk Class Breaker. In today's video, let's understand on how the assignments for Amity Online works. And I'm specifically going to talk about MCA, but it's going to be the same event for UG and PG, regardless of whatever specialization or courses that you have chosen. So without much further delay, let's get into the video. Guys, before we could enter into the video, if you're new or if you're watching my content for the first time, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also give a thought about giving me a thumbs up so it motivates me to come up with more uh, videos related to Amity Online or online education uh, in general. Now, I am going to show you my Amigo portal, which is where you're going to do your internal assignments and assessments and also test your understandings. I haven't done any screen recording. All I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera and try showing you the screen. In case if it's not clear, do put it down in the comment section. I'll try to make another video where I clearly record the screen. I did a test run and for me, it seemed clear, hence giving you, uh, you know, a heads up on how the video is going to be recorded. Now, let me take you to the Amigo portal. This is the Amigo portal of Amity Online. Uh, now, the portal's name is Amigo. It's by uh, Amity Online. Now, this is my MCA. Uh, for someone who's new, I am a UG student and as well as a PG student. I have completed my UG in journalism and mass communication from Amity Online then uh, enrolled in MCA and this is my first semester. So I'm going to show you a subject that I've already completed, which is uh, professional communications. Now, this is how your Amigo portal is going to look once you enter into each subject. Now, the first thing you're going to see is syllabus where uh, it's going to let you know what are the topics that are there in the particular syllabus. The second thing is going to be announcements in case anything related uh, to this specific subject is being put out by the university, you will get the notifications out here. You will get just a single uh, 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 highlighted mark. So you will get to know that, you know, there's some new announcement, like the way how mail shows if there's a mail, the small number comes, right? It's going to be the same way. Then there's a discussion uh, discussion forum where uh, like-minded folks are going to enter into this and start discussing on a particular topic. This usually is started by the professor, uh, but as of now, nothing has been started. So this seems empty. Then comes glossary. Any jargons or anything that is new in a particular subject will be answered here. Uh, then comes your study material. Now, this is the e format of your study material. You people will also get the uh, hard copy. Uh, in case if the hard copy is not being delivered to your place for someone who's staying in African countries or Qatar or towards the east, you know, you people might not get the hard copies. Uh, you you will have to go through the uh, EV materials, which is this. So you can download this. There's the download option here and you can also print it out if you have the you know facility to print it out. Then comes your audio, uh, which is all of these modules uh, are not just in the form of text, but are also in the form of audio. Let's say you're traveling from one place to another and you know, you're really not interested in reading the materials. You can, of course, go ahead and start playing them. So there are two parts in module one, then uh, two parts in module two, and then comes module three, module four. Each is about 25 minutes. Uh, so yeah, anywhere between half an hour journey, you should be good enough to go through the, uh, you know, audio. Now then comes your milestone, which for every date, you have to complete a milestone uh, that is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. So I do not want to explain that and waste time. Uh, this is your first topic on the first module. Once you open this 101, which says professional communication, introduction and types of communication, there comes a video. Recall the features of professional communication. So. Like I said. So somebody like this is going to explain, I cannot play the whole video because, you know, it's the property of Amity Online. Disclaimer, I'm just using it uh, for educational purpose. Uh, so I will not be able to. And then comes these materials. Now, whatever text that you see here is also available in your e-material or in your books. Whatever is explained in the video is just put up here, which is the same again in your books. Now, once you complete this, you need to test your understanding. Please note this test your understanding is not calculated for your marks. This is only and only to test your understanding. 
this is just to understand whether you have understood that topic nothing else to it uh, most people are like oh i haven't you know completed my test your understanding question so will i get less marks no this is not even calculated for your uh, marks now let's say you have successfully completed all of the topics now in this there are about six topics once you complete six topics then comes your module assessment now this is important because this is included in your marks this whatever 17 questions are have been there in this now see there's a discussion forum here and there are 800 posts now again i will not be able to open it and show what is the discussion because i am an mca student due to various factors i cannot disclose what is the uh, discussion out there now once you open your first module and let's say you know the assignment instructions are already been given here you can you know thoroughly go through it everything is self explanatory you really do not have to worry about it and trust me guys for 17 questions they give you 3 hours to complete it and the marks are allotted instantly you do not have to wait now when compared to other universities let's say jain online or any other university you have to wait for a specific amount of time once you you know submit your internal assignments but in amit online that's the beauty you get graded immediately now see for example i finished this first module's uh, assignment on 11th december and the marks are instantly given to me for the first module out of 30 marks i've got 24 marks which is not great but you know decent enough for me now let's not discuss about that but yeah you understand it right so i have completed my first module assignment likewise you have to complete for your uh, second module which is your second module assignment and also please go through each and every video and test your understanding because most of the questions will be asked uh, from whatever has been explained in the video and test your understandings some will also be outside the syllabus you have to be well prepared for that see this is an open book in case certain questions have been asked uh, to you outside the syllabus please uh, you know you can use your google or your you know chrome browser whatever uh, is convenient for you. you can refer from other books etc now this is second assignment again this consists of five questions now this again is very very important because this marks is been calculated for your end term examination you see highest grade is 15 which means i have got 15 out of 15 the minimum passing mark is 9 now you will be wondering uh, is it really necessary for me to attempt all the module uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 as well as assignment 2 yes it's very important compulsorily you need to attend this in order to appear for your end term examination without which you will not be able to get your admit card which is your hall ticket for your semester exams now like i said in the beginning of the video this method is the same regardless of whatever course or whether you are from ug or pg the calculation of marks the questions in your internal assignments the number of questions everything is the same your module 1 2 3 4 and 5 will have 17 questions out of which you have to score minimum 12 marks out of 30 then your assignment 2 will have five questions out of which the minimum scoring or the minimum passing marks is 9 now i think i have sort of uh, completely covered uh, regarding the internal assignments which is assignment 1 and assignment 2 and also test your understandings test your understandings do not have to be compulsorily attended because they do not carry any marks but my suggestion is kindly go through the videos and test your understandings because most of the questions of what you get in the test your understandings have been asked in your internal assignment 1 which is nothing but your module assignments now if you have any questions regarding the assignments or uh, you know the amigo portal or whatever it is do put your comments under the comment section and also give a thought of you know joining the membership program because every friday i'm planning on to come live uh, probably in the evening time and uh, there are so many other new members who have joined the program i'm giving a shout out to all of y'all thank you for joining the member makes uh, a lot of uh, meaning and sense to my hard work so with that i will end today's video peace